What is up guys, using A here, um, tutorial number 56, the first one on the new channel. Um, I hope I kept all of you active subscribers, if not then looks like we're going to be, um, this is going to be a little setback. But, <clears throat> this tutorial will be over cartoon, it's a cartoon effect, I'm going to start this one off, like, I might as well start the tutorials off on this channel, simple. I'm going to get to some more complex stuff later, like, um, cracked text in Cinema 4D, like the glow thing I did in week 34, um, stuff like that, some more advanced stuff, so stay tuned. But I'll show you guys what I got. Uh, I mixed a few effects just to, I don't know, like spicing up the tutorial and to get my abilities back, I guess. Like, I don't want to say abilities because that sound, makes me sound really cocky. Um, I want to say, I want to re-familiar as myself with After Effects after three weeks. So if you saw this cartoon right here, <coughs> I added some exposure to brighten it up and take that away. And uh, I had some like invert right here. I'll take that away too. So now I'll run preview this alone and it'll just be the cartoon effect. Oh, and I also have Twixer, which I'll get rid of too. So uh, I'll delete these two. The Twixter, my settings were I went from 100 5 frames forward to 300 5 frames forward to 1 because I wanted it to speed up right when you shot and then slow down. Uh, I, th I think I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, I think it will look pretty good in an edit. Like I do that sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. So if I'm not making any sense here. Just going with the flow. So, um, delete everything. All you have is your bounce. Or the bounce that I have. All you have is your clip. Um, right when he shoots, I want to add the cartoon. You can add it whenever you want, but I'm going to add it right when he shoots. So, I'll go stylize cartoon, drag it on. And then um, I'll go over all of these. Uh, edges is kind of like a bad version of find edges. Uh, actually, let me go on. Let me go on full res too. Uh, fill, it's just like a really unprofessional blur. And fill in edges is the cartoon look that we are looking for. So detail radius, it's the detail and the radius. I mean, look, the lower it goes, the more detail that will pop up. Like, let's go to two. You'll see more stuff on the ground, a little more cracks on this wall here. But I think eight is a pretty good number, if not ten. And then threshold. Um, Forgot what this does. Oh, it uh makes some uh, makes some of the edges like appear like I don't know. It's kind of like the opacity for the radius. The higher it goes with this ten radius, the less it edges it shows and it kind of blurs a little more. So uh, I say ten is a pretty good number. If not, maybe eight. And then so now now that we're done with detail, um, let's go to fill. So the shading is like the opacity too, except 100 is equal to 0 and 0 is equal to 100. So shading steps, I think 8 was a pretty good number. I had my own settings. I should have saved it as a preset. Oh, no, 30. You want it to go to 30 because um, shading steps is kind of like detail. Uh, like if you, if you understand what I'm saying here, look. Look at 2. They're very, they're very, they're only 2 shading steps, if you know what I mean, like, there's this kind of brightish and kind of darkish, but if you go to 30, it's all over the place, it looks more natural, more natural of a cartoon looking effect, if you know what I mean. It looks cleaner, so that's what I like, that's why I like it. If you go to 100 though, it kind of goes away, if you go to 0, it just looks shitty. Like you have these blocks popping everywhere. So a good number would be 50. Um, sorry if I'm not explaining this too well. 50 or 60. I think my preset was 30 to 40. Nah. This should be fine. It's not that big of a difference, especially when you have a color correction. So now, oh, here we go. With edges, I changed that to 2. I like the it to be a bigger width. 2 or 3. 3 didn't look happy. I'll go 2.5. And then a uh, threshold. I had it 2. The threshold is the same thing. Uh, 
more the threshold, the more the black, the more the edges pop out. Because it's what we're on edge. So I like it at 2, not 2.5 as well. Let's go back to 2. 2 looks good. And softness, uh, same thing as up there. Or it's kind of like feather with the edges. If you go to 100, the edges don't appear. If you go to 0, they're all really sharp. So I'll have it at 50. A little nice mix. And the opacity is the opacity. For only the edges, not for the entire thing. I never looked at this. Uh, edge contrast. Oh, so the lower you go, I guess, the more... Yeah. The lower you go, the more black it gets. Um, let's go to 0.4. That looks terrible. Uh, this I'll keep this at 0.5. I like it. And uh, edge black level. Bring that up. Um, yeah, it does pretty much the same thing. Enhancement. Oh, this one might be interesting. Let's go. Nah, screw it. I'll keep it back at the default one. Don't mess with advanced. Uh, doesn't do much. I think you'll find everything that you need in here. So, um, <clears throat> right when he shoots, we'll take the opacity. We'll take the shading smoothness and the threshold. I believe. I should have double checked, but I guess not. We'll go 60 frames forward. Take this down to zero. Take this. I don't know if we bring it up or down. Or we can take this down. Or if you want an even better way, I don't know why I'm doing this. You can also right here. All right, you can go to the opacity in general, and then just go 60 frames forward, and then bring it to zero. So now. If we look at quarter res, here's what we got. It's a cartoon looking thing. It doesn't pop up for long though. So um, to kind of add it, to make it look more I don't know, epic, dramatic, I'm going to split the clip right here. I'm going to add Twigster. Uh, Four, speed at 100, go one frame forward, no, let's go two frames forward, let's go to 300, four frames forward, and we're going to go to one. Actually, no, I want the numbers to pop up. I want the numbers to pop up, so I'm going to go four frames after 100, bring it to 300, four frames after 300, and bring it to one. So the number is there, it looks all sick. Um, and then we hit, so it speeds up a little, hits a slow mo. Let you guys check it out. We have a little warping there. Um, not that big of a deal though. So, yeah, um, other than the warping, it's, it's fine. Uh, I think the spin is a little slow though. Uh, if you want to speed up the spin, you can time remap it. Right here, you can go like layer, time, enable time remapping, and you can just change it out. I, per I believe that the spin is like really slow, it feels like it's on like 8 sensitivity. But, um, it's all up to you. This tour is about cartoon, not about me editing. Uh, that'll be A in action later. So, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry if I went on a little bit of a ramble here. Uh, you can call me a beginner at this stuff again, I guess. But um, I hope I keep all you active subscribers, and I hope that I don't hope that I can get my partnership soon, because it kind of sucks to restart. But anyways, uh, this has been using AE, and I'm out. Peace.